What's going on, family? Hope you guys been feeling good, taking care of yourselves, how you guys been focused, focused on your mental, your spiritual, and your physical. You always want to be elevating. This experience is all about elevating and learning new things. You want to learn new things every day. You want to be addicted to learning because this is what it's all about. Because if you're, if you're here and you're not learning anything, what are you here for? To exist, to just be in the system, work, come home work again, come home, that's it, no, 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 we out here trying to elevate mentally, spiritually, and physically, like always, but today I got, I had something in my, on my mind, you know, and it's, it's currently happening, so why not talk about it, but first, hope you guys been feeling good, hope you guys been feeling good mentally, spiritually, physically, you always want to be elevating in those three things, this was, this is what, this, this is what I think this experience is all about, you know, elevating mentally, spiritually, and physically, that's all. That's all you could. You should be really focusing on, you know. And for now, for now, getting that money up. For now, anyway. Um. So, like I said, I, this has been on my mind, and uh, I just wanted to talk about it because it's currently happening. So, let's talk about it. Let's talk about gas. Now, why I want to talk about gas? Because there's a people are misinterpreting what's really happening with this gas problem they say it's a you can say it's a gas shortage whatever but and that's why they add that little fancy name fossil fuel to make it seem like it's something scarce when in reality the bigger picture of it is that yeah they're raising gas prices right and you gotta actually think. You gotta actually think why they want to raise gas prices. But first, you gotta think about what the the kind of era that we're slowly, slowly, slowly moving into. Now, if y'all haven't seen my last video, I talked about um, an, the uh, the agenda that was before this one because this. This uh month's agenda or whatever you want to call it is WW3 and uh and gas. Now, just a couple months ago, they were pushing all these variants out and everything, but that shit just poof, into thin air. So now they got just scared with WW3 and with whatever war and uh and now gas. <clears throat> They're raising the prices on gas. I just, I heard a, a politician woman not too long ago. I, I think it was on TV. I saw or um, on my phone. Uh, she was like, "If people don't want to pay high prices for gas, get an electric car." And that's it right there. That's the key that they want. They want people in electric cars. Now you got to think about why they want people in electric cars. And also think about what kind of an era we're moving into. We're moving into an era where everything is going to be, it's like a, it's a digital era. Now that might sound cool and everything because of everything they show us in the movies and all that, all this technical shit, you know. But that's really pushing you more and more out of this reality. There's going to like, there's going to be people in fucking VRs and all that shit. Like it's, it's they want a VR world. They want a VR world with VR people, easy to control. Now, this all starts little by little now with, with gas, what this gas thing is doing. They're going to keep rise, raising the prices. It'll probably go up to $8, $8, $9 probably. Who knows? Now, I, I recommend y'all... Um, if you're a gas, if your tank, everybody drives a car. Majority of people have cars. If your tank gets to half, fill, fill it up right away because you do not want to get caught in a situation where your shit is not full and out of nowhere. Cause yo, they could do this out of nowhere. They could do whatever they want. That's what y'all understand. It could be like, out of nowhere, there's no more gas. That's it. Like you can't get it anywhere. So right now they're raising the prices to see how many people actually 
don't want to have want don't want to be part of the gas side of things. You get me? Now, like I said, we're moving into an era where there's is digital and all that stuff, and they want people in Teslas. Now, nobody, not everybody is gonna have a Tesla, obviously. Because what about what happens to when the com the the trucks and all that stuff that run on the run off gas, right? What happens when the gas gets the gas gets too high to where the the trucks that come to us, right? That give us food, that that bring us food and all that stuff, stop running. Right there, that causes that causes food shortage. So it all starts with, with little things, like I said, like I said in my last video, I think they took out the ATMs in Australia already. What? No more cash. You can't take cash out. Cash, the cashless society, is coming too. All this is coming. So now they're starting. They're starting with the gas. So people stop driving gas cars. I was talking with this with my brother, my little brother, a couple months ago before all this shit. Uh, we were like, I was like, nah, bro, I'm not getting a Tesla bro, or anything because what if they like stop my car while I'm driving or something or these switch my destination, take me somewhere I don't want to go. I don't know. Y'all got to really wake up to this world and what it really is. It's not what you think. I'm telling you. And, and it was like, true, true. I'm going to stick with just gas. But eventually, the gas prices are going up. There's not going to be no more gas, if you really think about it. So that's going to lead people to stop buying cars that are, that use gas little by little. And they, they think, oh, man, it's cool. I'm going to charge my car. Yeah, they're going to buy electric cars so they could charge it. But what they don't know is, like, uh, a couple, I think a couple weeks ago, like last week, I think, or two weeks ago, I saw like a bill supposedly is supposed to be passed that they're going to add a kill switch to your car that in which they can kill the engine in an instant. Now, imagine it like what happens when all these cars have that kill switch. They could just kill the engine of every car and you're stranded. For what reason they're going to do that? We we'll just have to find out, wait and see. But the fact that they'll be able to do that. They shouldn't be able to do that, right? That's why now every, everything's going digital now. You got, they got, they're promoting NFTs where you just take a freaking picture and people are, people are freaking making money off, off pictures. You can take selfies and sell, what? What? NFTs. That's like that's some that's crazy. Crypto is the next big is the next is already popping. Like all these all these old heads, our parents and all that stuff are gonna be lost when it comes to crypto and all they know is cash. They're gonna be lost when the when the real virtual digital stuff starts coming out and shit. And that's what we're moving into. So now they're using this gas thing. Not only to make it seem that the gas is scarce, but to destroy the economy. What happens when you destroy the economy? No more cash. All this is to start bringing the cashless society side of things into place. You got to really think about these things. So I always I, I recommend when your shit gets gets in on half, fill it back up. Fill it, you just keep it full at all times, man. Eventually people are going to get tired of all the gas shit. And they'll, they'll, they won't have gas cars no more. They're going to be on scooters, electric scooters or some bullshit. I don't know. You see a lot of people with scooters already by by me. Everything is electric. Everything is going to become electric, digital, virtual. That's what they're aiming towards, too.
and they're making you virtual on, on some Black Mirror bullshit. Go watch Black Mirror. That's what that's what they show you. They show you in the movies. And I'm going to make a video, too, about movies and shows and all that stuff. They show you all that you got. And you got you got you got to stop seeing it as a movie. You got to stop seeing it as just a show. Well, you think that can ever happen just because it's on TV? Tell a vision, tell lies to your vision. Wake up, wake up. Look at the bigger picture. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Even this, the war shit, the war shit already died down. Like, I'm not hearing nothing about that. Maybe because I'm not watching the news. Because I don't really care about that. But even that shit died down already. Like, what else can what else can they possibly do? Like, the next thing you know, they're gonna they're gonna shut off the power grid, like the power in some state or something. Be aware of that. That's coming too. All that shit. All this shit is coming. And for bigger reasons than you think. Get in tune. Get in tune. That's all I had to say. If you like the video, if you watched it through, thank you. I appreciate it. If you're new, subscribe, comment, share, like the video. Listen to me about the gas, the recommendation by your cars, man. You do not want to get caught. Feel, keep it full at all times. I'm just saying. I'm out.